Now imagine if there was a alternate dimension where Tacos Al Pastor didn't exist. I wouldn't want to live there, would you? Can you see this? Look at it. Oh my actual god! Laxcala does offer absolutely everything that everywhere else in Mexico does. <laughs> Amigos, and welcome back to another Mexico video. Believe it or not, not all places in Mexico are this magical, glistening utopia that is often portrayed by many Mexico YouTubers, including me, to US expats looking to move to Mexico to magically, miraculously solve all of their financial woes. Some places can be distinctly average, but that's okay. Today, I'm in the city of Laxcala, which is in the state of Laxcala. This is the smallest state in Mexico and is a state that is often unknown by many people. It definitely was unknown by me up until a few weeks ago. It's just north of Puebla, it's east of Mexico City, and I've been here for the last 10 days, meaning I've had an opportunity to really experience this city. Yes, it was average in the beginning, but we're gonna see in this video why my opinion has changed. We've got a lot to cram in, so let's get going. Today is Tuesday morning and we're in the Zocalo. That's where we're starting off this video as usual. And I've got to say, there are comparisons you make with someone like Puebla considering it is just down the road. And yes, it is quieter in the evening. When you go to Puebla in the evening, there's people everywhere and it's very busy and hectic, but you also get that here to a lesser extent. And that's one of the wonderful things about coming to a place that is lesser known because there are no tourists, there are no foreigners, there are no expats, you have to speak Spanish. And that's one of the things about Mexico that I love doing. I think you've seen that from other videos. Around this Zocalo, you've got fantastic restaurants all the way around the side. Laxcala is the state in Mexico that has the fifth highest level of poverty. So you wouldn't expect necessarily, you know, extravagant restaurants, things like that. But actually, I'm really impressed with a lot of the restaurants here. There's a market around the outside, there's a fountain over there, there's pigeons everywhere, there's locals sitting around. Sometimes you know, on a Sunday you get people doing opera singing for money. The usual sort of stuff that you see in towns like this in Mexico. So uh, I'm loving it. And as you can see around the outside, you've got Christmas decorations going up. Christmas is coming, Hans. Feliz Navidad. Welcome to Laxcala. We have the sign behind us as always. Normally these signs are like brightly colored like the ones in Puebla and Tiquisquia Pan, places like that. But this one has pictures of people on it and it shows the history of Laxcala because Laxcala didn't exist before pre-Hispanic times. It was largely built by the Spanish. It has a great history with Hernan Cortes, the conquistador who was responsible for the downfall of the Aztecs. You know, there is an element of domestic tourism here in terms of Mexicans, definitely. I'm, I've met Mexicans here from elsewhere in Mexico. I just met a lovely couple, two ladies from Colombia, near the border with Ecuador. I actually understood their Spanish. Frontera is border, right? And um, so it's great that, you know, there is tourism here. It may not be international tourism, but it's definitely evident. I was in Jerez uh, de Garcia Salinas about five months ago in Zacatecas, and this place feels just like it, but on a larger scale, largely because of the lack of foreigners. You do have to speak Spanish, and it just looks like Jerez very much. So um, I'm loving it. Up here by this lovely archway, you have one of the oldest cathedrals in Mexico. You have museums galore, you have pulquerias down there, but over to my left is something amazing. As well as awesome views out over the city, you also have down here, as you can see, a bull ring, the George Aguilar Ranchero. There's also things like festivals and fairs and markets that happen here. And I know that bullfighting, you could argue, yes, animal cruelty, it's not right. However, it is part of history and culture in certain countries like Spain and Mexico. So, you know, you just have to go with it. Let's go down and take a closer look. I don't know much about bullfighting, but I feel like a bullfighter entering the ring to battle my bull. It's um, a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Of course, you've got the spectator bit around the outside. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Toro lacks color. I know Toro, that means bull, I think. And um, yeah, you can see around the outside the um, Mexico, España um, cultural thing. You know, there is a huge connection. I came here the other day and there is a leaflet that they give you afterwards which shows you details of um, bullfighters and bulls. And many of them, although, although many of them are from Laxcala itself, many of them are actually from Spain. For example, Sevilla and places like that. Got pictures of bulls around the top. By the way, if you're wondering if I've got lipstick on, I haven't. I've got dry lips, it's lip balm, all right? I look like a drag queen. Anyway, we're going up that way. We're going up in the world. Guanajuato, San Miguel, Vallarta, Cancun, Merida, you name it. All those places are very popular with foreigners. With good reason. However, Lax Cala still has the things that you would see in those places. There's cobbled streets, there's colorful buildings, there's local food, you name it. So consider doing a bit more research rather than just blindly following what YouTubers tell you. All right. <laughs> This is the Escalanitas de los Heroes, which I'm probably wrong, but does Escalanitas mean escalators or, you know, stairway or something? Because that's what we're doing. We're climbing up a stairway. And um, the statues, I believe they're like prominent figures in Mexican history. I'm not sure if they're to do with like the Revolucion or something, but from up the top, you can get some amazing views. So as you can see, stunning views, once again. That red church, kind of in the middle, that's kind of where I'm staying. The Zocalo is near there. We've got this stairway all the way down to the road down, the, down below. Colourful buildings everywhere, hills in the background. You don't need to be in somewhere like Guanajuato to experience this kind of thing in Mexico. Ah, taking a break now. There are Mucho Nino Sorible from the local Escuela school right um, and I've got um, me favorito nuevo manzana boying actually uva is my favorite but um, you know uh, no disponible in the shop right let's head down let's get away from filming children before YouTube demonetizes me for doing just that yes that's a thing now apparently we're gonna have some food now some comida mexicana there's some great places here to eat as I said there's some awesome restaurants but we're gonna go to some typical local places that locals go to and there's one very special that I am actually addicted to I really hope this music isn't copyrighted um, <laughs> Other things to do in the state of Daxcala, there's some archaeological sites not too far away. Um, what else? There's fireflies in the summer. That's firefly season. So come in the summer if you want to see them. Okay, we're going to do food in reverse today. We're going to have dessert first because the place I want to go to isn't open yet. So um, well, that's okay. It all goes down the same hole, right? Right, it's incredibly difficult to film because I don't have any hands free, <laughs> but there are no donuts, unfortunately. There was yesterday when I was here, they're absolutely huge and beautiful. So I have this like chocolate cake thing, covered in chocolate, and this ready thing with pink on the top. Obviously, I have no idea what these things are. Let me know down in the comments um, if you do. <sighs> I'm hungry, let's eat. Gracias. Okay. Hasta luego. Right, it's bakery time first. We're gonna start off with this cake that is covered in some kind of chocolate. I'm thinking it might be like full of cream or something. I'm not too keen on that. It, looks, it feels like an eclair. It's that kind of consistency, texture. Oh my actual God. 
this was a surprise. Ten things that shocked me about that colour. This cake did. Genuine shock for once. Chocolate on the top. It's got like a strawberry filling. I love this. And yeah, it, the pastry, I don't know, I don't know, cakes. Um, it feels like an eclair or something like that. I don't know, food. I just, I just want to eat it, you know, lush. Mm, look at that, amigos. You know what? Bakeries. I've never shown a Mexican bakery in a video since this is the first. I used to go to one regularly in Mexico City, but for some reason I never filmed there. I do really like Mexican bakeries. Yes, they might not be as good as Japanese or Korean bakeries. Bakery snob. But they're still beautiful. Hmm. We now have Whitney Houston, I Have Nothing in the background. I will not sing it. I've got to be honest, I've bit into this already because my storage ran out of my phone. So I'm going to do a pretend reaction. Mmm! Amazing! It is amazing. So pink on the top, red roll. And inside is like, I think it's like a blueberry filling. I think it might actually have proper blueberries here. Wonderful. Whitney Houston. She's smiling down on me, eating this thing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to shove this down my gob and we're going to have some more food. Alright? <laughs> I bet you thought we were having pizza, being in that market. Well, you're wrong. This video is like a wedding. We've had something new, bakery stuff. We've had something blue, blueberry. And now it's time for something old. Yes, that's right, we're gonna have some tacos. I know that we've had them a million times on this channel, but you know, to be honest, I don't really care. Tacos are the best. So, uh, let's go. That's the place, amigos. You've seen it on my Instagram stories. Now it's time to see it on YouTube. El Torito Supremo. The supreme little bull, right? Yeah, so we're having tacos al pastor, which are quite possibly some of the best I've ever had in the whole of Mexico. Look, it's a beetle. We have the sound of pastor being cooked in the background, but this is the sort of place that I really love, you know, the place that real Mexicans come to. So we have um, the menu down here. Let's take a look. As you can see, massive pastor on the front. So many different things you can have. There are different types of tacos, longazina, suadero, uh, pastor. We are having five pieces without cheese for 45 pesos. So that is fantastic. I'm not gonna rattle on for ages about tacos al pastor and how amazing it is, because we've had it about a million times on this channel, but obviously it's amazing, but just look at it, it's beautiful. But what's great about this one is that there are some like bird bits of pastor. I don't normally have that. I mean, it adds a little bit of difference to it. Where would we be without these? Mm. So our day is coming to an end. I know what you're going to say. Another video with tacos in. Bollocks to it, mate. I love them. Tough shit. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? The thing I would say about that is just, you know, imagine if there was a alternate dimension where tacos al pastor didn't exist. I wouldn't want to live there. Would you? Hello. Hello. Okay, bye, hand. I've just walked up this monstrous hill. So, you think Max Keller is average? Not on my watch. It's the Basilica of Our Lady of Ocotlan. Ocotlan is like a small like town part of Max Keller, which is a bit kind of centro, a bit further to the north. But this church is immense. Let's take a look. Mexican churches are something else, and it's been a long time since I've shown one in a video, probably since San Luis and San Miguel, but this is just as impressive. I've read that this church, the story behind it, is that in Laxcala, once the Virgin Mary was meant to have visited because there was a plague, and she advised everyone to drink from a spring to cure them, and apparently that spring is somewhere around. Look at that. An awesome story, by the way.
blasphemy. Can you see this? Look at it. Look at the amount of gold. I can't believe it. This is one of the most amazing churches I've seen. I'm not being funny, but it is. It's beautiful. I'm surrounded by gold. 360 degrees. So I'm back home in my Airbnb with my creepy angel statues, which have been a recurring theme on my Instagram stories. And on the subject of angels, you know, that basilica, church, cathedral, whatever, whatever you want to call it, was spectacular. And I know I say that every church I go to, but that's the truth. I was filled with a awe and wonder and amazement, especially that gold area, surrounded by gold. I've never said that in my life. It was, it was beautiful. It's definitely one of my top three churches in Mexico. Oh God, my back. Ugh. So I think that goes to show that I don't have to describe why I don't think Laxcala is just average. Yes, it may have been in the beginning, but everything that I've done in this video and the time that I've been here shows that Laxcala does offer absolutely everything that everywhere else in Mexico does. I have been guilty in the past of being influenced by others when they say, don't go to this place, there's nothing there, or you should go to this place because all these other YouTubers have gone there. But you know what? Screw that. I've got my own mind and so have you when it comes to travel. So don't be afraid to go to places that may not be advertised in tourist brochures or places that people don't talk about positively all the time. Yes, Laxcala isn't as pretty as certain places in Mexico. It isn't a place that you might feel entirely safe all the time. There are people selling drugs. There are people homeless on the street or begging for money, but that's life. Where does that not happen? Okay, so all in all, Laxcala is wonderful. I've had a great time here. I'm really glad I came here. And thank you to everyone here who has made sure I've had a great time. And thank you to Jesus for looking over me today and the whole time I've been here. Lovely. Next up, we are going to Apizaco. Actually, in about two minutes, I'm going there um, for the next video, which is my three year travel anniversary. Three years. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the creepy angel. See you next time. Hasta luego.